public screening this at all. This will be the first one in the world. I mean, no, it's not violent at all. Hey, what's going on, CBC Live? How are you? It's, uh, it's nice to see you, and thank you for joining us at our secret movie today. This is kind of exciting because uh, over the course of you know working in TV or radio, we will throw movie premieres and such, and you're not always super connected to the movie, but what we wanted to do with our show is be really connected to the films we make. So over a year ago, the director of this film called me while I was down in the States and said, hey, I need to make a decision on the next movie I'm going to make. Can you come to my house, and we're going to do a reading? I've assembled a group of actors, and I want you to read the director's parts and read the interior, exterior, set the tone and then the actors will read the movie. I'm going to listen to it with my producing partners and make a call as to whether or not we're going to do this film. I said, of course, he's a great guy, big talent, good friend, so be happy to do it. But two weeks ago, a year or so later, I get another call going, hey dude, movie's done. We want to do the first free public screening. Will you do it with us? Happy to do it. And that's the secret movie. So really glad you're here for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a documentary about animal sex by David Suzuki. I think it's going to be another earnest movie, even though he's dead. I'm wide open on this one. I, I trust George's judgment on this. So uh, my name is George. I used to work in a movie theater. I told us in the other auditorium uh, that uh, I used to sneak people in all the time. It's nice to be able to sneak this many people in and not getting shit for it. So I'll have this movie screening, and afterwards we'll have a bit of a Q and A and ask them questions. The two of the most talented people in all of Hollywood, and everybody will tell it to you. Please welcome the makers of Young Adult, Jason Reitman and Diablo Cody. exciting for us, you know, it was just, uh, it was four years ago that uh, we came to Toronto yeah. with Juno and played that for the first time, uh, and it was a moment that really changed both of our lives, and since that moment we wanted a chance to work together again, and one day I got a call from Diablo and she said she had a new screenplay for me to read, and this is the result. I was very lucky that day. I, well, I was lucky too, <laughs> and um, this is a different movie from... It's 3D. <laughs> Enjoy! <laughs> it's, um, this is a very different movie for, uh, from Juno. It's a really different movie for both of us, and uh, it has some unbelievable performances here. How many of you know who Patton Oswalt is? All right, well... He's amazing. Yeah, you're about to seem like you've never seen him before. How many of you heard of it? There's a, is an upcoming actress. Uh, she's just done a few things. Her name is Charlize Theron. Have you ever heard of her? Yeah. We're here to see her like you've never seen uh, before, as well as some other actors that you may not know who I think are just if awesome. If there are any Twihards here, Esme is in the movie. Is that you? I have no that? idea who that is. Um... <laughs> But uh, look, thanks for coming out, particularly for a film you didn't even know you were coming to see. I really hope you enjoy it. We're going to come back after and answer whatever questions you may have. There may be a lot. Um, <laughs> and enjoy the movie. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Welcome to Hampton Inn. Do you have a reservation? No. Is that a dog in your bag? No. Nope. We actually allow small pets with a cleaning deposit. Good, because I have a small dog in my vehicle. <laughs> What are you doing back in Mercury? Or you, you move back, or? Of course not. Gross. Oh, yeah. I'm up on the 11th floor, and I'm watching the cruisers below. Psychotic prom queen, bitch. Down on the street. Here's the deal. Buddy Slade and I are meant to be together, and I'm here to get him back. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's married with a kid on the way. No, nope, kid's here. I'm cool with it. I mean, I've got baggage, too. I would keep all of this to yourself. I would I would find a therapist. <laughs> that new baby of his is just darling. Have you seen it? Up close? Shot. You know what? Oh my god. She's an old time ambassador. Sweet talking. <laughs> god, you are a piece of work. Oh, she's 
Can I help you find something? I'm going to a rock concert with an old flame. Let's show him what he's been missing. No, he's seen me recently. He knows. But his wife hasn't seen me in a while, so... You can come to the city with me like we always planned. Mavis, I'm a married man. No, we can beat this thing together. 